Circumnavigation, the longest human activity on a planetary scale, is a geodrama unfolding in three acts. Long ago, people knew the Earth was round, but it seemed impossible to go around such a big object. In Greek mythology, Phaeton dies while driving the sun's chariot around the world. In 1919, Ferdinand Magellan departed Spain with five ships. Only one ship circumnavigated, returning without Magellan, who died in the Philippines. For the next 250 years, many tried to circle the planet. The planet simply shrugged them off. Only supernatural characters were natural circumnavigators. In A Midsummer Night's Dream, Puck puts a girdle round about the Earth in 40 minutes. Finally, John Byron made the trip safely. He lost only six men. Twice, James Cook repeated that success and took the first female to go around the world twice. She was a goat. <laughs> Charles Darwin circumnavigated on the HMS Beagle lucky to suffer from seasickness and not scurvy. A Viennese widow, Ida Pfeiffer, was the first woman to do it independently, crossing the Iraq desert by caravan. Japan organized the first circumnavigation by a non-Western power, led by Ambassador Tomomi Iwakura. The fictional character Phileas Fogg goes around the world in 80 days, thanks to steam power, the Suez Canal, and the Transcontinental Railroad. Thomas Stevens cycled around the world. Joshua Slocum was first to sail alone. And Harriet White Fisher's chauffeur drove her. Two U.S. Army planes made the first aerial navigation in 1924. Crowds ripped souvenirs from the pilot's clothing. Amelia Earhart was lost attempting the first aerial circumnavigation near the equator. The first human to orbit the Earth, Soviet Yuri Gagarin, became an international celebrity. Meanwhile, the U.S. completed the first submarine circumnavigation. John Glenn was launched into orbit aboard Friendship 7. But orbit has mostly been achieved by satellite, as with the global positioning system named for Magellan. Another Magellan, a space probe, circumnavigated Venus, but like its namesake, it perished in the attempt. Could we completely leave the world we've been circling for the last 500 years? <laughs>